This incredible story took place in Botswana, Africa. Valentin Gruner and his friend Mikila Garth were patrolling the savannah in their off-road vehicle, looking out for any suspicious activity. Suddenly, they heard a moaning sound coming from the tall grass. Curious, they stopped the engine and headed towards the source of the noise. At first, they thought it was the sound of an antelope roaming the area. However, the reality was far different. Despite the dangers lurking in the dense bushes, the two men cautiously approached to get a better look, only to be frozen in shock. Instead of baby antelopes, they discovered three lion cubs. The men were not afraid of the cubs, but they were afraid of the mother lion who would want to protect her cubs. Valentin said something was wrong. Despite the danger, he moved closer to the cubs. To his horror, he found that two of the cubs were dead. The surviving cub looked up at Valentin with big, frightened eyes, pleading for help. Understanding why these cubs were orphaned brought tears to Valentine's eyes. While Michaela watched from a safe distance, Valentine approached the cub. The small lion, curious and exhausted, ran towards him and began to examine Valentine with its eyes. Valentine quickly gained the animal's trust, gently stroked it, and picked it up. The idea of taking a young predator home seemed crazy, but leaving the defenseless cub there was akin to condemning it to death, as its survival in the wild savanna was nearly impossible. Valentin decided to take the cub home and informed Michaela of his decision. After some initial hesitation, his friend reluctantly agreed. They then dug a small grave for the dead cubs and buried them. During this sad moment, Valentin resolved to do everything possible to ensure the surviving cub's survival, though he knew it would not be easy. Valentin named the small lion Silver and brought it home. The cub was starving and very weak. Valentin quickly took a can of sardines from the fridge and tried to feed Silver, but the cub, despite not having eaten for a long time, refused to eat. This was a critical situation because the cub had been hungry and exhausted for days, and it was unlikely to survive much longer without food. Valentin acted quickly and called the local veterinarian. The vet was shocked by the situation and urged Valentine to bring the lioness to him immediately for an examination. Valentine jumped into his off-road vehicle and rushed the cub to the vet clinic, where he urged the team to do everything possible to address the cub's health issues. However, the little lion's life was literally hanging by a thread. The cubs had likely been starving for days. Poaching was rampant in the area, with animals being killed for money, their hides, teeth, or to be stuffed, some even killed for pleasure. Their mother had likely fallen victim to poachers, leaving the helpless cubs at the mercy of nature. Unfortunately, two of the cubs did not survive this harsh struggle for life. The veterinary team worked tirelessly to stabilize the cubs' health. Thanks to their efforts, they managed to get the lion out of immediate danger. And after two days under the veterinarian's care, they finally allowed Silver to return home with Valentine. Now was the time to go back home. When they arrived home, the cub was suspicious of everything and everyone. Even the slightest noise frightened it, which saddened Valentine as he could only imagine what the little creature had gone through. Over time, Silver's condition visibly improved and its initial weariness slowly began to fade. Becoming accustomed to the home and to Valentine, it also regained its health, started to eat, and gained weight. As it grew, Valentine taught the small lion various tricks and games and tried his best to teach it the skills needed to survive in the wild. The bond between them was indescribable and Valentine became an integral part of its life. However, he knew he couldn't keep the lion with him forever. As the cub grew and became larger, it started to make the local people nervous. Moreover, Valentine had to return to his home country, Germany, and knew he wouldn't be able to care for the lion when he left and there was no one else to take care of it. Therefore, Valentine decided to take the lion to a nearby wildlife sanctuary. It was incredibly hard for Valentine to say goodbye, and he couldn't hold back his tears. However, he knew it was for the best. Although he wasn't the only one heartbroken, Silver seemed to understand that Valentine was leaving him and looked very unhappy. 
Valentine was tormented by worries. Could the young lion adapt to this new environment? What would happen if it couldn't? Thinking about this made his eyes well up. After the staff at the park took Silver in, they did everything they could to make him feel comfortable. However, Silver didn't seem happy. He appeared withdrawn and the spark of life that once glowed in his eyes had dimmed. Silver struggled to adjust to the new people and environment, which was negatively affecting his health. A year passed, and despite spending a long time at the park, Silver's behavior had hardly changed. He interacted very little with his own kind and remained in a depressive state. The staff were at a loss about what to do. Shortly thereafter, Valentine received news that Silver was having a hard time coping without him. Concerned for Silver's health, Valentine decided to visit the conservation area as soon as possible and booked a flight that same day. He immediately went to Africa and headed from the airport to the shelter to see his lion friend. When he arrived at the shelter, Valentin wanted to enter Silver's enclosure. The staff warned him that it could be dangerous and tried to persuade him not to enter, but they couldn't convince him. Despite their warnings, Valentin was determined to go inside. The tension among the staff was palpable. Although they were sure that Valentin had raised Silver, they didn't know how the now adult female lion would react. Would she recognize the man to whom she owed her life? Or would she instinctively see him as a threat and attack? Some keepers tried once more to warn Valentine of the danger and advised him not to enter the enclosure. They told him that the lion he knew, the one he had played games with, was no longer there. Now she was a wild lion who might not recognize him and could attack, but Valentine refused to believe them. He knew the lion was just in a different setting and wasn't feeling comfortable, which was why she was acting this way. As Valentine approached the cage, a hush fell over those present. The lion saw him and ran to the fences of the park. When Valentine finally opened the gate, those watching held their breath. However, what happened next defied all expectations. Instead of attacking, the lion leaped towards Valentine, embracing him warmly and began joyfully licking him. A cheer erupted from the crowd. Despite the long time apart, she had recognized him immediately and was overjoyed. From that day on, Valentine visited her regularly, helping her feel comfortable and integrate into the park community. Silver's adaptation to her new environment was slow and challenging, but Valentine's frequent visits significantly eased the process. Visit rekindled the deep bond they had formed in the past. As Valentine spent time with Silver, he observed positive changes in the lion's behavior, which greatly boosted the morale of both him and the park staff. Gradually, Silver began to interact with other lions and was learning to hunt with them. Valentin and Silver are still good friends. The lion is doing very well, and Valentine visits him all the time. They continue to spend time together. It seems that they will remain good friends and family forever. On our channel, you will find wonderful content filled with emotional and impactful stories of animal rescue and human-animal relationships. Our goal is not only to provide information, but also to create awareness for animals, prevent cruelty against them, educate, and foster a positive perception. Please support us by subscribing to our channel in this important mission. Together, we can create a more compassionate and loving community towards animals. Thank you in advance for your support.